Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show off an unused model in Disney Pixar's A Bug's Life the video game. This model exists in the files of the Windows version, but I'm not sure if it exists in the PlayStation or the Nintendo 64 versions of the game. I loaded the model in-game by replacing it with another model which already exists in the game's files. For the first showcase, I swapped the model with that of the Wasp enemy, and as you can see, it's a bit of a buggy mess. First of all, the model appears to be some sort of feminine mermaid creature. Secondly, replacing the model with the wasp files makes it behave exactly like a wasp would in-game, meaning it still has a hitbox and can kill Flick. That won't stop me from trying to get up close, though. What's interesting about the behavior of the model is that attempting to kill the enemy causes the game to crash. However, this is not the case for if you ground stomp on the enemy, in which case it flattens like every other enemy in the game. As I mentioned earlier, trying to kill the enemy will cause the game to crash. I believe this is because the game is trying to play a death animation that the model doesn't have, but for models I show off later, this doesn't seem to be strictly the case. So swapping the test model with the wasp yielded a bit of a glitched result, especially since it was moving around a lot. So what if I swapped it with a non-hostile NPC like Dot instead? Well, it still pretty much looks the same, just with all the behavior of Dot. That and it's a little funny having this hellish sea demon follow and guide you throughout the level. Oh, yeah. The only other level in the game Dot appears in is in the tree level, so I decided to load that one up and see if the test model would behave any differently. The answer is not really. Again, we do get a better view, but the arms are still pretty messed up and the model is probably not performing the intended animation. But then I got really curious, and wondered what would happen if I replaced Hopper's model with the test model and then tried out the final boss fight. And let me say, I was not disappointed. This was the buggiest of all, with the neck and arms stretched out to ludicrous degrees. Although here I did get a better look at the face, even though I'm not sure this is how the face is intended to look, meshed with Hopper's data. There is also some strange gray scorpion looking thing floating in front of the model's chest. I'm still not quite sure what this really is supposed to be. It's also worth noting that trying to deal any sort of damage towards Hopper during this fight with a model like this causes the game to crash. I also tried out the Riverbed Flight and Ant Hill Part 2 levels. While there was not much to say about the Riverbed level, I found it interesting that dealing damage to Hopper in the Ant Hill Part 2 level doesn't crash the game even though dealing damage to Hopper in the final boss does. I'm still not quite sure why this happens. Lastly, I thought I'd show off the test model swapped with the bad worm enemy, because I wanted to see the test model while it was standing still, instead of constantly moving like the other models. Funnily enough, the model's animation seemed to move at a speed I would imagine the actual model would move if it was used in-game. Of course, the model is still glitchy and the arms are a little strange, but with what I worked with, this was the least buggy I found the model to be. I know there is at least one other unused model in the game, but for now, I just wanted to show off this model and its animation, since I haven't really found any footage of this model aside from a single screenshot on the cutting room floor. I hope you found this demonic mermaid flopping around to be as stupidly interesting as I did. Let me know if you'd like to see the other unused aspects of this game in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching.